Hello, everyone. John and Peter hey, are here. Buddy. I made it. I didn't disappoint. Not Peter, nine people. You are buying a pizza at Midwest. I can. Is there really you. nine people? Yes, nine people. My, am I on the right stream? I said mine says six people. Oh, it went but back maybe down I'm seven. Just... But it was nine. You, you, you that pizza oh. man, it was coming. Oh, I think you, you said my name, and then three people jumped ship. Oh, it's back to eight. Stephen is here. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> if you're here, please Hi, Stephen. say hello. How you doing? We've got one dab already. Yeah, setting that's, that's records Steven. left and right. That's Steven. Yeah, P Pete's excited. He's he's going to get the, the record. Kevin is here. Oh, hey, John. John Bubbitt is here. John Sebastian's Peter. back. All right. And he's here for the pizza and breadsticks. So. <laughs> if we get to 20, you guys get breadsticks as well as the pizza at Midwest. Wow. So it's a total carb overload. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, if we get to 30 people watching, uh, also... Yeah. Um, Peter will buy uh, mozzarella sticks at Midwest. Hi, Abigail. Wow. I'm a generous guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Abigail. I'm sorry, Abby. Abby. I'm sorry is... Abby. It's Abby. It's not Abigail. I'm sorry, Abby. I'm so sorry, Abby. We're up to 11 people already, John. You better start composing before we lose them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we'll get started. Before we get started, I'm going to let Peter introduce himself. And uh, Sure. Peter, go ahead. All right. Well, hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Peter Ciano, and I'm a composer and uh, educator and happy to be here with John. When I've been checking out these streams and enjoying them, so now I'm going to check it out from this side and see if I can add anything of value. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, messages, messages are being deleted left and right. Yeah. All right. Let's get started with uh, with this here. Now remind everybody, John. Oh, sorry. We were gonna. We're just gonna listen we, from the beginning. We were. We're gonna listen from okay, the beginning. Okay, got it. last time we were working on this now i've had a few ideas just from listening to this uh, i haven't worked yeah. on this piece uh, obviously as the rule goes i do not work on this piece when you guys are not here so i do have a few ideas sorry i needed to turn on the fan it is getting uh hot over here 
Um, so, let us look at this. So, um, I'm thinking one of the first things we need to do is we need to add a trill here. I think we're going to trill this note. Uh, hang okay. On. We're going to do this. And then, uh, Peter, I'm going to show you a shortcut here since you're also a Sibelius user. I am. I love your shortcuts. So, uh, oops. So you You're can my do what... Sibelius hero, John. <laughs> so you could do what I just did with these slurs, or what you could do is there's a, there is a shortcut up here. Yeah, under lines, you can just select that and delete them. And then... Okay. Uh, I was actually talking to someone who uh, hasn't used uh, Sibelius in a while. Um, actually, I talked him into uh, using another program. But uh, mm. so I was talking to him about about it, and um, does it does it sound like a nacho chip if you pronounce it wrong? Is it that program? <laughs> we we will not say <laughs> names of, of the programs here. I but, I didn't say the name. But um, what we will do is uh, so uh, so there was this one thing he he was just remarking over this being able to put uh, expression marks and uh, different lines at once because you know in old Sibelius you used to have to like for example yeah you, you couldn't do what I just did and put the yeah uh, exactly the trills yep. over multiple lines like I just did at the same time so um what you used to have to do here on all and I'll delete these here oh there is no and also that also that filter feature is great where you can take away just certain things like dynamics or whatever it is because that that also was an issue. You'd have to individually select each dynamic you wanted to delete for many years. Yeah, I uh, I thought there was a trill thing, but anyways, what you used to have to do is is go like this on one of them, hit L so that you would get your line tool, do that, and then you would have to just copy it and then paste. Ta da! It does it. So beautiful. All right, let's listen to this. Want. Let's listen to this and let's uh, give it a listen. Okay. I like the trill, but I think that the trill needs to not go as far as we have it. Uh, so right, maybe just to the downbeat or something like that. Yeah, just an eighth note right on. I'm thinking just an... Oh, actually, what we could do is we could just put an eighth note like that. Now, I usually do this so that they stay uniform. I hold control, and I'll get those little boxes. And yep, then I just and then you pull them all. Yep. Actually, we don't need... Uh, we don't. Yeah, I could just go like that, and it can end on beat one like that. So here, if we listen yeah. to it real quick. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I like that. Cool. All right. So now let's work on this transition. Um, hmm. Now, this whole section here with the half note melody, I remember where you left off on that last time and we were talking about different options, whether or not to keep it all unison or what have you in the low brass. Not the half yeah. note melody here, but yeah, yeah the half note underneath those trills. I, on that listen that we just did, I, I thought that was one of, the, one of the cooler parts of this whole transition material was that half note melody. Let's, um, hmm, I think what we're going to do, so what, what I kind of heard when we were listening to it for the, the whole thing for the first time, and it's again, it's been about five days since I've worked on this uh, with yeah. you all here. Um, uh, I think I kind of want those to start on beat one and then this to come in where it does. So here, let's listen to it and let's see what we think. Okay. Here, I have a, an idea. I want to try this. Okay. We're going to copy and paste oh. this from later on and kind of use this. But what we're going to do is we're going to sort of ascend. I gotcha. Kyle Green's here, by the way, John. Just Hi, Kyle. 
get that chat going, guys. I see some comments. John Bubbit's a big fan of the, the woodwind scoring that you have going on. I agree, John. Oh, I see. So let's try. So what I'm thinking is, is we'll do something along these lines here. In the lower voice. Oh, but not quite that low. This is the one that needs to go lower. Oh, and I forgot Valerie's uh, trick. Peter, I don't know if you knew this. If you hold Control so, in the hour, the the arrow keys. You don't need the transposition tool. Did yes, you? I do that. Uh, I, I've noticed that you don't do that, and I, I thought that was just like a personal preference. But no, I, I just, I just. Oh, I should see. I'm always hesitant to share information because I feel like uh, people know that kind of thing. But yeah, that's a, that's a big time saver. Yeah, I had no clue. I see. There I am. I'm about to do it again. You're about to do it. Yeah, it's hard to break those old, you know, Sibelius habits. Uh, all right. Let's Go. put accents on all of these, and then let's see how we feel about this. What was the piece? Most recent I had? I'm sorry, Peter. I started playing when you were talking. What did you? Oh, what sorry. What was? It, are we at Forte here for those guys already? From prior to this? I actually think that we are at Fortissimo. Okay. All right. Now we're, we're we are at Forte. Oh, we are forte. Yeah. So you could even, if you really wanted to release the hounds there, you could, you could bump them up when they get to that melodic. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Set. Yeah. And let's see if this even works. I, I kind of was just experimenting. All right. Let's give it a listen. See if it even works. It's per. Okay. <laughs> I do like that much better. I don't think that that's the right starting pitch, though. I think that we need to start on a different note. Um, <laughs> I, go ahead. I, 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 I like it, too, because it brings back a little of that triplet motif. So you got a little connection to the previous section. Let's see. Is this Ke go ahead. Kevin? Is saying, Kevin is saying that would be a great title, Release the Hounds. <laughs> <laughs> Release the Hounds. No, it's uh, Steven. Oh, is that Kevin who said that? Steven. Steven. I'm sorry. Steven. I'm sorry. Steven, yeah. I, I, I read the wrong one. Release yeah, I like that. Release the house. And, that, and by the way, sorry. for everyone listening, we are still looking for a title for this. So uh, please well, please keep that in mind. Well, Release the Hounds is as good as any other I can think of. I'm terrible with titles. Yeah, I can't. I, I don't. Titles, I, I have to. Brandon Nelson usually watches these streams. Brandon Nelson, I say, this piece is about this. It's about this and it's about this title please <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and uh and he will he'll come up with them he's a good title guy so he's my i either have the title from the beginning or i i never get it and i just end up calling it something i regret later <laughs> um let's see all right so right now you're on a g to start it off that's the note you want to change uh, I, I, I'm starting the, the whole... Oh, oh, I see, I see. Yep, I gotcha. Oh, uh, I think this is... Peter, I think that this... This is the winner. I think this is the winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think this is it. All right, I'm ready. Don't forget that octave. There you go. Let me take that Control down. Up. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I remembered. I did a thing. I know. This, this is going to be... It's going to be worked into your regular habits oh man it'll save so much time just remembering that steven i'm sorry uh i teach with a, a couple steves <laughs> so that's gonna be that talking about old habits that's gonna be a, oh. a struggle for me <laughs> or no, i, I said 12 people i said i said steven you you're the you you called him kevin i, I said kevin at first that was I'm my not, mistake so yeah. i am not the bad guy here i'm well, apologizing kevin, for something i didn't do Kevin was here as well, and I just had Kevin's name on my mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's listen to uh, let's listen to this and see how we feel about it. <laughs> I like where we're 
we're going with this, but I think that we need to do this. We need to make that happen with the trills. We need to have this trumpet dut dut do dut 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 dut. I think we need to keep that the whole time, and then I think that this needs to go one more measure. Okay, I can see that. Oh, yeah. P Peter, man, I was wondering what that was. Peter isn't playing around. He's got his keyboard out over there, and he's he's playing well, my... it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking out that, because that C, I, I'm trying to think of a new, different note to land on than that C in bar 61, because I love that triplet. I'm just not sold on the C, but we'll get there. No, not that one. The two, what is it? The bar before that, I guess it was. But we'll get there. Yeah, I'm, I'm here next to my keyboard, so I figured I might as well figure out what I was thinking. Well, there we go. All right, hang on. I think that... Uh... Oh, I hit a wrong note, or a wrong button. There we go. Oh, yeah, see, I see. that's the one thing I wish that Sibelius would add, is those, just like everything else, that you could um, get it to do the triplets like multi-line triplets just like you can yep. the other yeah that's tricky all right let's... i see i see okay i see where you're going here all right let's see and that also ties into that triplet in the intro i see yeah all right so let's see sorry peter i i, I... it has to look good I get you. It has to look Kendall, good. Kendall, Kendall Brown saying, hello, Mr. P. Hi, Mr. P. Hi, Kendall. Some of my students are watching. Oh, that's cute. Well, maybe they've got some good compositional advice. <laughs> I'd love to hear what they have to say. All With right. With my students, it's usually they want more of the instrument that they play in it. <laughs> I have a feeling that's what the, they're going to say as well. <laughs> All right. Let's give this yeah. a listen. I really like that, but I don't know if, if it's... Uh... Hmm. I don't. I like it, but I don't know if it arrives. When you say arrives, you mean which, like in general, overall, does it hit? I don't feel like it's a hit point, uh, for lack of a better term. I don't feel like uh, this, like. I don't feel like this is a good spot. Um, measure sixty-three. I don't feel like. That's a good note to put, like, to, to arrive at, then I basically see. end before these two measures here. Well, so, I, I see what you're saying. And the, right there, that's where we have that timpani percussion moment to kind of split things up a little bit. Yeah. Currently. So, I don't know, like, right. it needs to arrive somewhere, and then this this needs to happen. So, here. Let's let's do this. You know what? I think that now that we we've done that, I kind of feel like the problem of why it doesn't feel like it's arrived is there's no note in the woodwinds and i feel like we need uh, to... on that hit yeah okay so either they're gonna join with the triplets or they're gonna maybe do some kind of rip you know some kind of hmm, I'm what kinda... would go against like i'm kind of you could have them yep go ahead hang on i need to go check earlier if we did something like this. I'm thinking they get a triplet run. And I feel like we did that once. But now that I say that, I don't think that we have done that. Because we're going... No, what you did, you did the triplets with like a little 16th run after it, if I remember right, during that 
that yeah. initial hit after the intro. You can mimic that, but you could also, yeah, triplet run might be cool here, unless you think it's too much of a disconnect from what's happened previously. I don't. Um. Hmm. Well, my theory is always you could always throw it in there and take it out. Yeah, it's free to listen. It's free to listen to. I'm trying. I'm trying to think about what I'm hearing in my head here. Now, I hear like a, it goes one triple it, triple it, triple it, trill. But I don't know if I hear it here in '62 or if I hear it in '63. Let's listen to these things here, and I'm going to try to see. And again, what I hear in my head is it goes one, triple it, triple it, triple it, trill in the woodwind parts. So one, da 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 da. I feel like the mm -hmm. trill needs to happen here, but I could also hear it, the trill not happening, and it goes da da da, or right when it's doing this, it goes one, da 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 da. In fact, let's try that. I think that that's. Okay. I, I get it. Um, what note would we start on? Uh, so looks like you have D flat, B flat. These are some options that wouldn't clash if you're looking for something harmonious on that no, downbeat. No, nothing, nothing. This part is, okay, uh, is is not very harmonious. All right, I'm all for edgy. Uh, this, this part, I think we have we have some minor seconds. I think we have uh, a a. Uh, uh, Diminished fourth. There it is. That's a diminished fifth, sorry. Even better. Yeah. Uh, so Sebastian is saying, can the first three triplets in the trumpet have lower harmonics, then move up to where they are now on the second three to play off of the two measures of triplets from earlier? Yeah. Uh, and I was actually going to do that while while Peter was uh, reading that, but then I accidentally started hitting the arrow, and it started repeating the same note over and over again. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, was like, I hear what, what Sebastian's saying. I was like, what in the world am I doing? And that also gives it a little bit more, a uh, little bit more height, I guess you could say, a little bit more. Yeah. So here we can movement. Listen, we can listen to that. <laughs> Oh, I hear the the metronome is on. Uh, speaking of my students, if they're still watching, uh, no, I didn't do this for uh, our seventh graders, but for our fifth graders, I was making examples and I had the uh, the metronome on, so that's why that's uh, uh, for some okay. reason if you if you turn that on in one document, uh, it, it stays on for the other documents. Yeah, yep. and and I forgot to turn it off, so um, yeah, I had that on for recording uh, videos for them. All right. Here we go, one more time. And let's see if we can just listen to these guys, the brass with the flute here, and see what we think of this uh, kind of uh, upward run here. Okay. Let's see, we're going to have to not do that. Um, just so we can hear it a little bit, thicken it up. Yeah, we're going to... Mm -hmm give them that so they'll play on the last one two da 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 da, da. Yep. See. and then let's go like that let's go like that we also need to make this a flat note as well no we don't it's not c flat it's e flat oh it's only e yeah. flat okay so cool Yes, yeah. we need E yeah, flat. Yeah, I think you're okay. We need E flat here, and then we're good. Oh yeah, All right. the first part. Let's give this a listen. <laughs> Stephen asks, do I use my uh, Yeah, I'm students? just reading what Stephen was writing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, sometimes um, I will I will have them play uh, my things. Now, what they play a lot of uh, with 
that, that I've done is I've done a lot of Susa Marches arrangements. And, uh, okay. Well, that's educational for sure. Yeah. So uh, I've done those a lot for them. Um, they play on, on occasion. Actually, um, one of my groups was going to play a piece that I wrote that I have published called Jog a Lake and Epilogue, which is kind of a very... Uh, uh, it's about an amusement park that used to be right down the road from where I teach. And uh, I was going to... That was what we were going to do this semester, but uh, unfortunately that never came about. So uh, maybe next year. Yeah. And I can tell you, Stephen, I, I teach in high school as well, and I uh, will usually not... I, I'm not in the habit of programming or having the students perform my music for whatever reason. I, I don't know if it's I'm not comfortable with it at this point yet or not, even though every so often they'll want to do something. But I definitely will bring out some tunes for sight reading. So if that's guinea pigs, then then yeah. But I think it's a win-win for everybody because I get to hear it and they get the sight read. And it's free sight reading. That's a, yeah, so like that does bring up a point. I have I have done that from time to time just for sight reading. Um, there was a band, um, I don't remember what grade it was last year. Um, myself and one of the other directors, we pulled out, um, I had to proof to proofreading for one of my published pieces on occasion uh when i get parts that i need to proofread i will hand them out yeah so that's i i've done that as well actually i did that i did that this past year and that was really helpful because then sometimes the students will catch a mistake in the part yeah which is you know what you which what is, you hope which is what you're hoping yeah you're hoping that they would catch that kind of thing and they like it because they're they're seeing something kind of like uh you know ahead of everybody else, you know, pre-release. So they think that's kind of neat. And oftentimes, I don't know about you, John, but I, my, the stuff that I'll have them sight read or do is, is most, most of the time an easier grade level than they're even, you know, able to read just for the sight reading or just for that experience of, again, of uh, like a warm-up or something like that. Um, sometimes I like to give them something that's a little harder, you know, not, not not for any point in particular uh just just for fun i mean if they're yeah. only gonna, if they're only gonna see it the one time i mean we're only talking a little harder i'm not gonna give uh a sixth graders a grade five but so then maybe yeah. normally yeah. a little out of their uh their uh wheelhouse for uh you know just to you know in a way it's just like maybe next year this is what you get to do sure and regardless of the grade level, I, I found that the students really like to see it and like like for me to hand out something like that to sight read because, you know, it's it's a it's, it's cool. It's a piece of a piece of me, and I could tell them why I did it and so on and so forth. I, I think I think that it's a, a win win for everybody. Like I said before, yep. Stephen says we love free sight reading. <laughs> I agree. All right, let us. Um... Let's go back here to the beginning of this section and let's listen to this. I had a little bit in the percussion part. I'm not sold on this bass yeah. drum, but uh, let's give it a listen and let's see how we feel. We'll let the people decide, John. We'll yes. that one more time but i think that the uh, only thing we we're missing is that suspended cymbal roll into uh you know i was just gonna say that you could go sim you could even do a timpani roll into the solo if you wanted yeah although uh, i don't know what uh, i don't know what notes you have available i was though. just about to say uh um, yeah it would have to be d flat i already know that off the bat and i don't think the d flat oh <laughs> would you look at that <laughs> what are the chances what are the chances <laughs> would you look at that there, it, there is. it is. Sometimes you get lucky in this whole composition game, don't you, John? I am so happy. <laughs> oh, this is man. the drama that everybody wants. I'll tell you, as a composer, you you very rarely get that moment where it's just like you're just like, oh man, you know what'd be perfect in that symphony part. And then, you're right. And then you and then right. go back and you look and you're like, oh, but I can't do it. 
and it, it, but this this time, that didn't happen. Beautiful. Oh, Peter, we're I getting love to, it. We're getting to fifteen, Peter. We're at fitful. Oh my gosh. Oh, Careful. Oh, Thirteen. It was almost pizza time, and as I said, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll jump out real quick so that it doesn't hit 15. <laughs> I was about to say, so Peter, remember that we get to 20, uh, you have to do breadsticks, and uh, 30 breadsticks. is uh, mozzarella sticks. So uh, Wow. A lot West. of sticks. <laughs> I don't even know if uh, Lou Malnati's has uh, cheese sticks and uh, or garlic bread or what it, what it just. Yeah, cheesy bread or whatever. Yeah, we'll have to call bread. ahead. Yeah, you have to ask. We don't want to just. We don't want to disappoint anybody. I, I guess I guess uh, all these streams I've been promoting all these different pizza things. I should probably call them and be like, "Hey, do you, do you, do you guys even have it?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or maybe they owe you some money for advertising. Yeah, just saying. All right. I mean, so, uh, all right. There's one other thing here for this trill. I know I always put on a trill. I always put forte piano. You know, most band directors do that anyway. So I figure that uh, I just add that there to. Because you know some band director is going to go, uh, I want you all to write that in. And the kid's going to, uh, the student's going to go, but it doesn't say to do that. Right. Yep. So. Uh, you have to, yeah, sometimes you got to be very specific. So. Yep. Steven, I, Steven has a little comment there about practicing critical li listening with that, that sort of thing. I, I agree. And I think students are probably listening to it more because their teacher is involved with what they're listening to. I think that that's. That's a that's a part of it too. All right. Oh, my friend Meg's here. Hi, Meg. Hey, Meg. Meg is from Ohio, also, John. Oh well, Meg. Hello to a fellow original, Buckeye. Original. Oh well, come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, Meg. What did we What did we do wrong? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Probably too cold. Yeah, probably. It, it was it was really cold today. All right, let's give us a listen. Sounds good. Oh, just kidding. I saw. So for those of you that don't know, if you look here, uh, Sibelius has two of these little green lines. Uh, oh, wait, is the other one not turned on? No, it's turned on. Where is it? Yeah, here they are. So the green dotted line means this is where you started last. So if you hit Control Space Bar, that's where it'll go back. The green line is where you currently are, so if you hit the space bar, it'll start playing from there. Apparently, I misread the dotted green line and the real green line. So, You know, for all the hours I've spent on Sibelius, I tend to just do the thing where you hit the P button. I go click on whatever note or whatever part of the measure, and is I hit P. Really? I rarely that, deal with the... Is that a thing? Yeah. I didn't know... I, uh, yeah, that's what I do. So I just click on wherever I want to start, and I just hit P. That'll play just the trumpet part, trumpet Peter, one part. you taught me something new. Yeah. See, I'm used to just going like that, hitting Y, clicking off of it, and then hitting space bar. Yeah, that's extra extra clicking, though. So, I, And you can, if you click very specifically on the note and not highlight the, yeah, the then measure, then, then you'll get all the parts, yeah, not just the trumpet. Well, I learned something new. See? There you go. You can do that in your Hat of Sibelius tomorrow night. <laughs> and by the way a shameless self-promotion tomorrow for all you sibelius users how to sibelius we've actually started entering um uh take a, a second break from what we're currently doing we've actually started entering um hopefully my uh, my students aren't here because uh i think their susa marched out but <laughs> we're entering a susa march um in our how to sibelius stream um so uh, we're working on entering. It's called the Volunteers, and I thought it would be. <laughs> There's Abby, one of my. <laughs> um, She's. Tomorrow... You started talking about Susa. Yeah, they they know. <laughs> so <laughs> we're um, yeah, we're entering. It's called the Volunteers. I thought it was appropriate because it's actually about um, I can't remember exactly why Susa wrote it, but it's about a volunteer fire department. And I thought that that was appropriate, being the uh, the time that we're in. So, uh, for those of you interested, tomorrow, how to Sibelius. And then Thursday, um, we will be doing um, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Another composing with Lori. Yep. All right. Yep. That That's... being said, let's give this a listen. Sounds good.
So I really like this transition. I think that this is good for yeah. now. Now, what we need um, to... I agree. That's working. Sorry, Peter. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, not at all. I think it's working. Um, now, one thing I, I'm, I'm going to do when you guys aren't watching is, uh, as you can see, the poor mallet percussion and timpani are not playing a lot in this. Uh, maybe tomorrow right. or Thursday, after Thursday stream over the weekend, I'll go through and I'll fill, fill all those in. Uh, and I'll, again, as you always see, if I do something when you're not watching, uh, I highlight it so that way you guys have the final say of whether or not you do or do not like what I've done. So um, Now, what would you, just so people who are curious, you're, when you say you fill in, what, what are you thinking, just off the top of your head, without plugging it in right now, would well, you see, fill that's the in thing. for these mallet players? I, I don't know. Part of me is inclined... Okay. To give one, some of them, some to double some of these. Someone needs to get that. Now I don't know off the top of my head which which percussion instruments we're using. Right, I think you had a xylo and chimes at one point, but marimba. Okay, yeah. And vibraphone looks like we're at, and we're actually the lower part is on chimes throughout this part. So actually. Uh, I do actually need to delete. I deleted the marimba label that I just had there. I need to put that okay. back because it it actually is needed. There we go. So, um, or else it'll it'll play these uh, eighth notes on chimes, which will be kind of disorienting. Sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, Peter, or I'm sorry, uh, Kevin. Uh, I'm looking at Kevin's comment now. He's looking. He's curious about the last beat of the timpani solo. Um, thinks the rhythm would create oh, oh let me oh and four e and uh and four e and a one you know like into one I think he's what he's saying and four e and a one I'll I'll do I'll do one better for you so I don't know if you guys know this shortcut in Sibelius if I put this see the the crescendo is really small here if I hit space bar it'll go to the next note if you hit shift space bar it'll go back wow it does that with all the lines so slurs trills all of it. Oh, see, I always just erase the whole slur and then redo it. So that's helpful. Well, see what's cool. So here, the slurs, we're going to, we'll put this back. So I'll show you how to put it back. So if we delete the slur, you see this note is already selected. So if you just hit S again, it's ready to go. Gotcha. That's great. That's just a matter of shift and the space bar and just the space bar. Uh, so now, that being said, I think that we need to start, uh, this part needs to be really dramatic, um, and really intense and really driving. Um, hang on, I need to check something here. I think I just broke okay. a rule here. And for those so, uh, I think that this low, what I'm checking here is I think this low G in the tuba part is a, uh, is a no-go. No, I think you're right. I think I think that's okay, actually. Uh, let me. I can check also. So, but, and and I, and I, I know, know it's John okay. Probably, it's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. John John uh, always uses Excelsior. Also, if I remember you saying this in the in the uh, stream last time, was because Excelsior is one of the ones, or really the only one that has all that information public on their website for yeah. people who are interested in submitting something, which is definitely helpful for any composers who are looking to. Uh, Submit something because most publishers are going to want to see things that are already kind of the way they want to see them, right? Yeah, and that you know, and that's 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 uh, I I don't show the others. I mean, if the other publishers want me to use theirs, I'd be happy to use them. Uh, I just don't right. because uh, they don't have them publicly available, so I don't want to show off something that they may not want out there. Right, right. Sometimes they'll share it with their composers, you know. You know submissions, but uh, I know Excelsior has them right up there, which is great. Uh, now this is not going to fly, and my kind of solution to that is to give these trumpets an F. Right. Yeah, the A is out of the range. All right. Let's give this a listen. And uh, Kevin, I hope you like this idea because I was actually really proud of this dynamic thing here. Before I forget. Uh, so here, let's give this a, uh,
But if we're gonna do this, then let's give it to them as everybody well. gets it. Yeah, everybody yep. gets it. All right, let's give it a listen. So I already know what we're going to do here. And then just so everybody knows, uh, Peter, we'll work on this a little longer if you want. Um, yeah, I, I know Lori, if Lori is here, she'd be saying you have three minutes. But I'm, <laughs> Lori would be I'm counting like the, the seconds. Are... John, you I, have... I'm, I'm like when the... <laughs> exactly. I'm like when the kids go to gran grandma's house and they can stay up later because parents aren't there to tell them to go to bed. <laughs> so... I think that we're going to prolong the suspension so it's going to go a couple measures and then immediately after it resolves it's going to slow down and we're going to go into a slower section. Oh, Doug is here. Hi, Doug. Doug, welcome. Um, so what we'll do is we will um, probably revisit some of this material from the beginning and develop it maybe a little bit. We're not going to do that tonight, but I do want to get this part ready so we can get to that transition and maybe not even write the transition, but I want to be right, right. up to the transition tonight before we're done. I'm I, in. I'm I game. really like this. Uh, I really like that. We do need to come up with something for these trombones. Um, well, well, how, how is it looking balance wise to the other sections in terms of the other material that's there? Who needs a little reinforcing? Well, so what I was going to do is I was actually going to grab this third trumpet part and put it down here up on top. It was kind of my, my hmm. thinking. So here, uh, I don't know if this will work. I hope it will, but I don't think it's going to. Um, actually, you know what? This is, yeah, so this is what we'll do. And so, while you're doing that, John, I think that third trumpet's a good option because, as we all know, a lot of times in school groups, that third trumpet might not be as strong a section as your as your second trumpets, and so it might help balance that out a little bit. So let's um, let's work on this a little bit. So this is so in Sibelius, this is the way that I would do this. So you see here, it we have this A up here. In fact, what we'll do is we're actually going to get rid of this. Uh, clarinet thing now that this is going to happen down here in the brass because the brass is such a powerful instrument you're not going to need clarinet players doubling this so what we're going to do we're going to so I my goal is to get this A from the top and basically this D from the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this trumpet part which is the double thing I'm going to copy it I'm going to go down here and I'm going to paste it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filters and I want out of this, hang on, oops, I want it to be highlighted. I want the bottom note. So I'm going to go here to filters, top note, and delete. Now what I'm going to do is highlight it. So I just hit shift and I clicked in the middle of the measure since all the notes were highlighted. It highlighted all of them. I'm going to go here and click on the clarinet part, control C. Control click on that will unhighlight the clarinet line. I'm going to go to uh, note input and hit reduce. And as you can see now, I have that now. But the thing is, is that first trombone parts up a little high. So if I go to top note and I hit control down arrow, yep. victory Filter. is mine yep. and I've done it. Yep. So now I yep. have what I'm after. But now what I need to do is I want to give this um the melody oops didn't mean to delete it to them and then i'm going to give yep. this tenor sax counter melody with french horn yep i like it to the second and thirds although i'm going to actually grab the french horn version because there's a little bit of divided there which is going to help yeah you can take advantage it. of that yeah i like that john well done now what we're actually going to do 
we're gonna get rid of this because we're gonna do something different and we're gonna prolong the suspension this suspension um, so for those of you that know so we're gonna drag out the suspension a little bit so it's gonna go for probably about four measures so it will go it'll be unresolved for two and then it'll be resolved for two uh, and then it'll go into the um, um, it'll go back to C major or C minor I'm sorry I'll go back to the uh, the tonic. That word was okay. escaping me, and the struggle was real. <laughs> well, you're yeah, you're not you know nobody is in the groove in terms of using words on a regular basis, <laughs> right? Everybody's ho everybody's home staring at themselves in the mirror. Uh, the word... Oh, sorry, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Um... Now, do you anticipate when you go back to that? that tonic are you anticipating going to a like a lyrical section or are you still yeah we're after we after we're done with the um um hang on peter real quick uh, i'm trying sure. to it's hard to talk and compose at the same time it is the struggle is is, is real I guess I'm the one who's supposed to be talking so that you can compose. Instead, I'm asking, I'm asking you questions. Come instead. on, Peter. <laughs> Let's see, no, what jokes can I tell? While it's you, all right. It's uh, decide right. on this thing. Um, no, but I think I think that the reason I bring up that thing about the lyrical section, if that's what you're thinking of heading toward, is because in a piece like this, it seems like uh, that's a logical option to kind of transition to something more lyrical to show off that especially if you're seeing this as a potential contest piece or something like that i know that would make a lot of sense uh hang on let me i i, I think i know what i want to do here with this rhythm and then i'm going to answer your question peter meanwhile steven's telling me the justice for trumpet three. Oh, because i said i said some... <laughs> yeah. um i i i wasn't speaking out against the trumpet threes i'm just calling them like i see them sometimes 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 trumpet three could use a little help i think that's the same though for for this grade level i don't think that's necessarily a uh a trumpet three issue i think that that's at this at the grade level of which we're writing this piece for i think that uh, not even the lower voices i think all voices need reinforcement um, sure yeah I think that um, I think that it's just part of what 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 you would expect of the the um, requirements of the ensemble you're writing for. So I I, I, uh, I don't think that that's a, a a a dig on anyone in my in my opinion. Right, because as you go up in the grade levels, that's when you tend to pare things down and maybe have a little bit more independence or a little bit, you know, a little bit more exposed section, you know, parts, uh, individuals, I guess you could say, or individual parts. Yeah. So I think for this, you're definitely going to be a little more heavily scored for sure. And also, so you got to remember some in, some bands may not even have enough people to fill out every instrument. Exactly. So that's to why have it cro cross scored is important. They they may only have two trumpets, so I mean. If they, if, they, if they literally only have two trumpet players, not not every school has 90 trumpet players. So, you know, Correct. you got to prepare Correct. for that. All right, let's listen to this part at 66. Okay. <laughs> I think that's I really like that timpani part I yeah. forgot to delete. <laughs> we're gonna, we're it's gonna... funny how that happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna stay there. <laughs> that's that's not so leaving. You were just heading you were heading somewhere and that, that timpani part, I agree. That was very John Williams y. Yeah. Well, that whole that that uh, that whole and then the hit on the timpani. I agree. We're, we're gonna we're gonna leave that there. <laughs> now you get, are you just gonna are you just gonna leave it as a as a fortissimo hit, or do you you think like a forte piano roll? We can, we can talk about that later. For now, it's a hit. We'll see where it goes. Let's we'll see where it goes. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about Fair it later. I, I mean, 
for something I wasn't even thinking about a minute ago, <laughs> it just magically happened. <laughs> All right. I've definitely, that reminds me of a style of composing where you can just, you know, just throw in a bunch of random notes and come back to it a week later and start moving them around and you might end up with a melody. <laughs> you just got lucky by having something in there that you never intended to be there. I think that happens sometimes and you take those wins when you can get them. Yeah. All right, let's give this another uh, another try here. Let's give this a listen. Now, I mean, seeing that we were distracted by this, uh, as Bob Ross would say, this happy little accident. <laughs> we were. That was a diversion for sure. All right, let's give it a listen. That's that's great. That's great. I love it. Man. So is that a timpani solo, John, or do yeah, you? Yeah, no, gonna... that's it. You... Although, okay, you know, so, for you... this, so no, 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 no. Going back to what we were just talking about, Peter. <laughs> it needs to be doubled. Yeah. So where are you gonna put it? The tuba. I'm gonna put it in all the bass voices. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that. I think that's a wise decision. Yeah. And they'll love it. Yeah, so they get like they that'll get their be their big moment. That'll be their favorite moment, exactly. Like, we get give, to do give those, that. <laughs> give those lows a little something. Um, hang on, and I think to make this they deserve it for carrying those instruments home all the time and lugging yeah, them around. They get, the, they get their moment. They they deserve yeah. it. All right, let's just sometimes keep... you gotta let them let them eat. Let's see. Now, do we want you could to... go bass drum also if you want to go bass drum? Oh yeah, we're, we 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 are. That's a, that's a good point. Um, I think here on four we're going. Oopsie, we're going to do that now. I think we're gonna repeat this rhythm. Uh, I got it. I don't, Are you clapping for yourself? No, I'm. Uh, I've noticed this, so I've watched some of the old streams. Whenever I'm in deep thought, I uh, I like I click my tongue and I go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that was a round of applause. You were no, really excited about. That's that's me. What you're producing. That's me. Uh, in deep thought. That's your... <laughs> okay, that's good to know. It's like Michael Jordan would stick his tongue out when he was being masterful. You. You click your tongue. Yeah, I don't know why I do it. Uh, I see what you're doing here. And as you're changing that, I'm going to anticipate that you're also going to give that rhythm to the snare drum, maybe, to give it a little bite. Yeah, definitely. Um... I see what you're doing. Yeah. But the chat's a little slow tonight. I th I'm wondering if that's because I'm not in it. Am I? Yeah, Peter, you, you talk a lot in the chat. It's nice. I guess I do. Is that good? Uh, okay. That's I don't want to come off uh, too chatty. <laughs> no, too cyber chatty. And also, no, I don't see Valerie here tonight. She's always very Val good. Valerie about... wasn't feeling good. Yeah, she 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 told oh, me she wasn't feeling good, so she, she took the She'll night off. She'll have to catch it on the replay. Replay. I know, and then uh, Alexander watches from um, France. He'll be watching uh, in a couple hours. Okay. So uh, he messaged me earlier. I sent him the reminder, and uh, he sent me a, uh, won't be watching tonight, but I'll be watching tomorrow. So. Sure, sure, sure. Um, yes, Stephen, you're doing, you're doing a good job. <laughs> good job, Stephen. Stephen's contributing. Keep it up. Stay chatty. Um. So that, and then we're going. Now, there's Hang on, some more to... people though who are here who could who could throw in some. Oh to us. no! Let's leave that. Yeah, let's leave the bass drum down there like that. Let's just. Let's I just... like it. 
leave it like that. Let's see what, let's, yeah, that means you hit the very. That means you hit the wheels of the bass drum. <laughs> that means you stomp on the floor. It's a whole different kind of bass drum. Speaking of Peter, don't you have a piece about uh, uh, clapping and stomping? Don't I? Am I am making? Am I making that up? No, it's a high. It's called "Give Me a High Five, isn't it? Or high five? Oh, high five. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I do. I have a, a great. Uh, Grade point five that's coming out with Excelsior this, well, any 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 day now, right? This spring. They're technically and, um, on their website does, already. You can check them out on their website, right? Yeah, I guess they're they're just starting to kind of come out all the spring publications, and, and Excelsior's got uh, a great great catalog this year. I was listening to a lot of them, and um, yeah, so there is a little high five at the end. It's okay. Oh, Good piece for a young band, fourth, fifth grade, sixth grade, beginner group, depending on when you start your your players. And uh, got a nice little groove, something that they can play using only the first six notes. And then uh, ends with a high five called Give Me Five. Get it? See what I did there with the five? Anybody? No? Okay. Sorry, Fair Peter. Enough. I was I was I was doing I was doing this thing called composing. No, you have an excuse. You're composing. <laughs> ah, she's Stephen thing. Yes, thank you. A little affirmation is always nice. I appreciate that. The other the other eight or so people in in the uh, chat have fallen asleep. I think we've we've lulled them to sleep with they're, our. They're just not doing it tonight. They're they're like, well, what? It is ten thirteen. It is past Lori hours. That is. She's she's probably asleep by now. Although she might have been spying earlier. What do you think? I have a feeling. I wanted to make sure that we were doing it right. Sebastian's saying, is there any way to rewrite the rhythm so the bass note, the bass notes or the hits could be every three counts? I think that's, in my opinion, uh, oh, I see what, well, hmm. I, I, I kind of like it being different because I was thinking that same thing, Sebastian. I... I kind of like it being different, but that's my my opinion. I like it that way. I like it being different. I I tend to agree with you, John. I see what Sebastian's saying for sure. I do. Um, I see what he's saying as well. And I think for and I think I think at a younger grade level, I probably would purposefully try to make sure that they were all on the same beat because you want to kind of introduce or reinforce, you know, kind of the same rhythm. Repetition is good for those guys when they're learning, but when you get to this grade three, to certainly not a technical issue, and I think it gives it a nice variety. John saying that writing at grade point five is hard. I agree. It is. It is a, as agree. a composer. Well, uh, and you know, I don't think that it's. Uh, I, I have uh, uh, some colleagues that would disagree with this. I, I I find it. I I love it. I love doing it, but it's it's just it's. Um, the more restrictions you have, the harder it is to accomplish it. Yeah, I think you're right. Because you always get to a point where you're like, oh, this would be great, and you have to hold yourself back. Yeah. I think I forget who said it, but probably multiple people. It's like it's like painting without all the colors. You, hear, you yeah. only get two colors. Yeah, I think that's a good well, it's analogy. Like, if you would like, it's like the primary colors. Like you just get the 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 like four or five primary colors. Like whatever you would get, right. like in the uh, like a, a a Crayola like eight pack or something like that. I guess is what I'm trying exactly. to say. The primary colors is a bad example. No, but I understand. I got I get your point. All right, let's give this a listen here. All right. So I really like this. I don't like yeah. the snare drum just kind of randomly cutting out as it does. Oh, I didn't catch that. I'd have to hear that again. Hey, while, while we're saying it, just a little note. Can we, we can go up to high F in the euphonium on grade three, right? I do believe, yes. Okay. Got it. I had to look that up I thought, the last time. I, I thought so. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So you don't like how it cuts out on the upbeat of four after that four, Or on the uh, four? 
I see. You want to I don't like okay. I don't like beat one. Like well, there's like the snare drum is moving. Like it has so much movement, and I really like it. But then it's just like, digga digga da, digga digga da. Like it, I feel like the snare drum needs to keep. Not necessarily this rhythm, but just for argument's sake, let's toss this in here. Um, that that's just a placeholder for now. Um, okay. Yeah. Try it. Let's see what happens. And then. The other thing that I'm concerned about is what was the other thing I was thinking about? I was thinking about Come on, John. You can do it. What were you thinking about? You were thinking... Oh, the, this suspension. I almost feel like the resolution needs to occur on this and. So it goes uh, on the and of four. So here, I'll... I'll, I'll... Let me grab all of these real quick. This is the easiest way to do this. Okay. So you want to put that on the downbeat, you think? No, there, on the end of four. On the end of four? Okay. So here, let's oh, just, I see. You're gonna, I got it. Let's I got listen it. to just yep, this see, here. Yeah. But now part of me is like, do we just leave it as uh, concert G minor? Um, I don't feel like I mean, G... I... Well, G major, if that's going to be the dominant, if you see yourself going to the C minor, that would be okay. I mean, there's a few ways to get there. I kind of feel like... Let's try... Before you change, everybody just listen to those. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's... Uh... And I think that this this is very, you, I like what you did here because it's dramatic in terms of this all setup getting into the second next section I guess you could say. So if you think it's going to draw more create more drama, I'm all for it. Let's listen to just the brass play this before I go and change it on all the woodwinds here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got a note somewhere. Yep, there it is. Let's try that one more time. I think I think it has to be G major. I don't. Yeah. Know. Sorry, Peter. I saw I hit play before before. You... Yeah, that's okay. I, I have a little bit of a delay too when I go back to the YouTube. I, I I agree. I like the major. I definitely think that works. All right. Let's. Listen. I think you can go anywhere from there. You know, regardless of what you're thinking transition wise or where you think you're going after this transition. Actually, I think what we're going to do, and this is going to be our transition into the uh, the slow part. We're going to take this yeah. timpani solo again. And then we're going to go to the beginning because as I as I've as I've said many of times when I when I get like a, 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 a an engraving style I definitely go copy and paste it if it's already looks nice somewhere else. Yeah. Smart. Um, yeah, John John Bubba agrees G major. So I'm going to go steal this Malto retard. Uh, but well, this is I think just a regular retard here is going to be okay. And then what we'll do is to make sure that it plays, uh, we need two measures. You know what? No, I think it does need to be a multi-retard. It needs to really, really, really slow down here. 
Yeah, if you're gonna go to a if you're going to a slower section, yeah, for sure. Oopsie, no period after that. Okay. Um, all right. So Kevin, and there's your uh, there's your four sixteenth notes, Kevin, if you're still watching. All right. Let's listen to this one more time, and then Peter, we may be good for tonight. All right. <laughs> I do feel like maybe this needs to, the multi retard thing needs to happen here and go yeah. into that. Um, where's my. Yeah, it doesn't have the last. I, 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 I tend to agree. It's... Or even if it did it halfway through that, that whole rhythmic harmonic stuff. Bump, bump on the major, you could do it. Okay, let's try that. Um, here. Where did my little line go? There it is. Because it's going to go through. I may leave this percussion thing here. I don't know how I feel about this. Let's see. That could be just a placeholder for now. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that, but I this, these dynamics are going to go away. Which dynamic? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The suspended symbol dynamic is going to stay. Yeah, and it might not go to a forte, depending on what you're doing. Um, I, oh, I guess more, it depends. One more thing I was going to say, Peter. Uh, there's one yeah. thing that's kind of like a trademark of mine that I like to do. Whenever I have this kind of epic suspension like this, I yeah. always love Sabido Piano. Oh, yeah. Crescendo. I see. Here. So then this will be a... So forte, and this will crescendo to the last one here. So you got it. Yep, crescendo in stages. So basically, then I'll just copy. So I'll show you how to copy these here. So we'll just do this all at once. So here they're going to be um, mezzo piano because we always want them to be at least one step ahead of the curve, so they're a little louder. Right, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be ones initiating the new uh, dynamic. Volume. Yeah. Oopsie, didn't do a good there. There we go. There, there. Yep. Copy paste. There, there. Now we're gonna take this as well. Uh, we're we're gonna have to just do this over again because they don't play the same rhythm. So subito, piano, crescendo. Right. Here we need mezzo forte. I like that change, by the way, that you, the percussion that you did. A few, I know that was a few uh, listens ago, but the, uh, it definitely feels, the more more, fills it out thing. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. You could always throw accents in if you really wanted to, but I don't think you even need to. I think that worked. Um, oh, the bass drum we need to fix. Sorry, you, you mentioned that, Peter, and I realized we never gave them the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, the bass drum... That'd be cool too. They Put need it on to, beat four and then beat three. Yeah. yeah. They need to. They need to do what. Uh, what's going on above? Well, I, I'm I'm fascinated by watching you, Sibelius, sometimes because I think about how much time I waste doing the things that I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I kind of get lulled into this this sense of insecurity all of a sudden i'm like oh my gosh i think i've been using sibelius now about 10 years i think i, I started in 2011 i used finale for about 10 years yeah and well then... i was an early i was an early 
finale guy too, but I jumped to civilians in probably 2004 or five. All right, let's give this but, a. Uh... But never mastered it to the level that you have. Oh, gee, thanks, Peter. All right, let's give us a listen from '66. Actually, before I forget, we also need a rehearsal mark. It's right there at 73. All right. Hang yeah, on. I love one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we seven. Yeah, that's good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good enough. I agree, John. John says you're flying through Sibelius. If we did a live stream of me using Sibelius, it would be the most inefficient video anybody's ever watched. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not slow. I'm just dumb. I'll explain to you some other time. All right. All right. Here we go. Measure 66. Okay. I was distracted, and I didn't realize the playback line was all the way at the end. Here we go. Measure 66. 66. having second thoughts about the suspension uh, in what way you're having second thoughts about how, where it suspends or the fact that i think that it needs one more measure like this i think that it needs three measures of the suspension and then one measure of the resolution interesting all right So keeping the same dynamics? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, hang on. Did I decide? I can hear that. I did nice. bad. I did. What did you? I uh, in the French horn part, I was just kind of happy-go-lucky on fixing the suspension, <laughs> and I made it go. Oh, I, oh, I, I, I got rid of a little longer than I thought I should have. I, I was trusting you, John. <laughs> I didn't catch. I didn't catch that. All right, here. Let's try it here. Let's let's see this going from seventy-two. <laughs> There's some wrong notes in there, but I have to be honest. I kind of like them. Um, we're not gonna keep them because they're someone, no. Someone's gonna go. Ah, that's a wrong note. I'm gonna go. It's a yeah. little edgy, but I always like a, a good amount of crunch. Yeah, I agree. Let's try May not that. be appropriate for right here, but yeah. Let's try this. I think this is the winner, Peter. I think this is this is it. I think that's it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So now we just got to copy that over to the woodwinds. Yeah, Which that's I great. Think, I think we're lucky. I think that we literally only have to do a couple of them here. Okay. Yeah, we only have to do this clarinet part, and then we should be. All right, let's try it. Let's see. Let's see. That's it. Uh, That's the one. Hang on. We're going to steal Kevin's 16th notes here. From now on, whenever you guys <laughs> play a piece of music and there are four 16th notes on G, it does not matter you who think, wrote it. It does not matter. Kevin. Yeah, just say those are Kevin's 16th notes. Kevin, are you still here? I'm giving you a compositional technique that is that is now yours, and you're not even here. Does he get royalties for that? Because uh, that would be quite no. quite a good... No, he doesn't. He, he's royalties. not even here watching, so he doesn't. He doesn't even know he gets royalties for it. I think I made. I I said this to you before, John, but I'm I'm claiming royalties for just the timpani part of this tune, <laughs> because we all, as band directors, know that 
we often have to reorder the timpani part. Yeah. Somehow that's the one that gets lost. Yeah. So, so I figure that I can make a killing. If I just had the royalty <laughs> on just the timpani part for every piece of music and publication, I could retire. All right, let's give this a listen, Peter, and then I think we'll be good for tonight. We'll, we'll listen to the whole piece once, and then we'll call it a night. Here we go. And Great. we'll listen to this, then the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. yep. We're, we're going to uh, add accents to this. Makes sense. John Bovett saying it's much better. He's he's into it. Woo! For those of you who don't know John, another really talented composer. Yes! Right. And John just had a, a editor's choice nod, if I'm not mistaken. He was posting about this week. So congratulations, John. Now that was clapping. That's not you clicking your tongue. Yeah, that's not me in deep thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give us a listen from the beginning. And then, because uh, now we know we're, hang on, before we do that, I'm going to put a uh, a space holder. Yeah, see, Kevin isn't here. We Now we know he isn't here. So now we can say things like, Kevin, every time four Gs in a row, you get the royalties. <laughs> Four sixteenth note G's. Four sixteenth notes. Yeah. I don't even call them four sixteenth notes anymore. I just call them Kevin's. <laughs> not anymore, you don't. Kevin he's yeah. not even here. Oh. So maybe we could rename it after us. We'll which, take some. Which money. by the way, since Kevin's not even here anymore, Kevin is the guest next week. Is he? Yeah, Kevin oh. is my guest next week. And then I have a couple special guests uh lined up for the next two weeks for uh not that Kevin and you aren't special, Peter, but I, I, I'm, I'm super excited. I I'm mean, and again, I hate saying this because you guys are. I'm super excited that you guys are here, but uh, I'm gonna leave them secret for now. But the next, okay, the 26th and the second, there's a. I'm really. Can I ask for hints? Can I ask for hints? Can I give you ask for a hint? Is it somebody that we know? <laughs> I think it's a, there's there's Kevin. Kevin, did, were, were you paying attention that you get the royalties for every time there's four sixteenth note G's in a row? Were you were you paying attention? We're gonna or, find out. Yeah. I think the chat's a little slow. We're getting a little slower than he's typing it, so we'll see. In about five minutes, we'll find out. <laughs> the suspension's killing me. No pun intended. Da -dum -dum. Oh, hang on, I can write that. <laughs> hang on, I can write that out here. Maybe that's the name of this piece. The suspension's killing me. No, nothing from guest host cliffhanger john bub says agreed i'm i mean i'm i'm gonna have to hang on here we gotta put this in a faster section here and then uh, this will, here we go i've got some ideas john i'm gonna i'm gonna take some guesses when we're off the uh stream did you guys did you guys hear that did you hear that peter i had the, the little joke thing here put, put on your sound for a second oh, hold on i didn't hear it because i got i didn't come here <laughs> Put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. From the beginning. I need that to we'll... follow me around my whole life if I could. <laughs> Just somebody always behind me. All right. Let's listen from the beginning and then we'll call it a night. We got all the way up to this transition and then we'll be uh, we'll call it a night. Sounds great. All right. Here we go. From from the top.
like it. That's uh, talk, yeah, talking yeah. about a cliffhanger to end, to end it on. But real quick, I know a couple of uh, a couple of things that we need to to uh, I do need to do. You really here. want people to come back for the next stream the way you ended that one? Yeah, that's uh, listen. If you all don't come back, that's on you, not on me. <laughs> I think I did my job. <laughs> Oh, Steven's got the first dab in the chat. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you must dab in order to leave. That is a that is a can't leave chat, without dabbing in the chat. Chat tradition. That's... Not saying anybody has to leave yet. Just make sure you do it before you leave. Yeah, before you leave. That's uh, that's how we know you've left. That's how we know you were here in some cases. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the more shy members of the chat. There was one more thing. There was a oh, I wanted to check a note here real quick in this. Sebastian Dab. Oh, Just giving you I found the update problem. on the Dab status. I found the problem. There's a B natural here against the C. Oopsie. That quarter note, yeah. Uh, oh, there's a couple of. That's trombone against horn. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think this is going to be the. I think this will be okay. Let's listen to this. <laughs> I think that's better. Although there did sound like there was another conflict. Oh, there is an E natural against F. Um, yeah. Um, it looks like the tenor sax for some reason is the only one that has that. <laughs> Oh, talk about well, bad orchestration. Not, no. <laughs> you would have caught it. You would have caught it. Uh, well, here, what we're going to do is give it to the, not the baritone. That's who we're not going to give it to. Um, we're going to take it down an octave and give it to the Barry sax. No, we're not. Oops, give we... it to the timpani. Don't forget we got a D flat available on the timpani. Oh, we need, uh, we need, uh, oh, we need an e natural. F, F oh. and E natural. Uh, bassoon I, there you go because there's nothing like a bassoon to really s strengthen a voicing that's what i always say all right let's just i was only this. being i was only half kidding that's much better and just because i like the ending we've done peter let's listen to it one more time and then we're gonna one call more. it a night That works. I think that that's is a great a, way to end. That's a winner. So I think that we could come up with some creative titles if you never, if you don't even do anything else, just leave it like that. Hang on, is, this is this is just how the piece ends. This could be the end of the whole piece. It could, you could be changing band music forever. Be a trend. I think you've set yourself up nicely, though, for whatever. Oh. Yeah, I, I man, that's gonna. That's, you know, sometimes, and I hate to say this, but sometimes when you're composing, you write something like that and you feel proud of yourself. And, well, uh, why do you hate to say it? There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I, I always hate to... Uh, I put, I, by the way, I turned on the uh, the uh, the ending screen, Pete, uh, okay. so no one can see the, the music anymore. I figure we're done with it, so I can put that up. Um, but uh, I always hate... I don't know. That's part of... I, I hate bragging about my composing a little bit, so... Well, there's a difference between bragging and being proud. You can be proud of it. So I, I usually am, am uh, after a good session like that, I'm like, yeah, I did a thing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, there you go. John dabbed. Yay! All right. I think we, we, we've, we've had a, a sufficient amount of dabbing. I, think... I haven't dabbed yet. I'll throw my dab oh, in there. Hang on. i got to try to remember how to dab. Oh, there's Peter's dab. You gotta go to the special icons. That's not. That's not. Or not icons. Emojis. There that's not go. your everyday emoji. That's a YouTube emoji. There we go. I got mine. There you are. 
There you go. Now you're dabbing. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Peter and I. Kevin, who is in the chat, will be joining us next Tuesday. Uh, and then the next two Tuesdays after that. Dun, Mr. dun, dun. I can't wait. All right. Good to see you all, everyone. And I will Bye. chat with you all later. Bye, everybody. Have Thank a good you. night.